this because you're all gone. Yeah, that's terrible. But it was anywhere you had to get it back into the hospital. And the police, again, similar to the story's been told already, that they had to then, um, they took him to one side of the mill, I hold it, no beds yet. Our transport's not available because it was about three o'clock in the morning. And the police had to sit there, and I was sitting in their car. And he was in the back of uh, one of these arrest vans, like in a cage thing. Um, going to peace for that, and actually he's been locked up in, the, in this cage. Yeah, which, does, um, which actually and, makes the situation worse. Uh, and yeah. how are the police towards him and towards you? They were doing their best, presumably. They, they were, they were, the police were brilliant, you know, and I've got to say without them that I actually then say, the police know who's saying, it's not our job to put their job, but then someone needs to take this role, because it's very difficult for family to deal with, like, you have to take care of your daughter, to generate a daughter. Mm. It's very difficult for family to deal with, someone saying, In a quarter of a mile, a wagon is roundabout. Take the second exit onto the parkway, A312. necessarily people working for local authorities but are specialists in helping these types of patients to get back on track I think in draft and um, let me just I was uh, I know I want to speak to Lucy who's waiting who is a police officer as well we'll get to her after the news let me just read out a few messages as well because police officers have been contacting me via text and Twitter um, TC says I've been a police officer for 20 years and it's always been like this mental health related issues form a huge chunk of police work very little police time is spent dealing with actual criminals. It's because the oath that the police's priority is to preserve life and limb. It will never change. Um, interesting from Mike in Bristol as well. If a person is delirious and refuses to go to hospital, then only the police have the powers to make them. After a doctor has said it is necessary, i.e. sectioned. Yes, I agree with that because we've heard from people um, saying that themselves. Neil's got quite a good um, solution. Well, he says... The local authorities have been decimated for the past 12 years. I hope the local authority will forward the invoice from the police directly... Exit the roundabout onto the parkway. Continue on the parkway for one mile. Um, ...have officers solving crimes, not necessarily having this role as mental health officers, so actually the local authority can pay. Quite a few of you are saying there's this a result of austerity and cuts to local services that mean that they can't just do this. Um, another PC is saying, I'm a serving Met Police officer. You said at the prologue, what you said at the prologue was spot on. We deal with more mental health calls than traditional crimes. And my question to you is, is that the, should the police be doing this? Should they be taking this responsibility for mental health issues? Or are they actually taking too much responsibility? That's me for the five, six, and six, and nine, seven, four. As I said to Lucy, who's been waiting patiently as a police officer, she can give us her story, the other side of the news. The headlines tonight at 6.30 being read by Med Mike Powell. Police searching for a missing man in Artley Reservoir in West Yorkshire have found a body. He was seen entering the water in Wheatfield yesterday. It was confirmed earlier that a 16-year-old boy died after getting into difficulty in Salford Keys. Detectives say the events show how dangerous open water can be in hot weather. Extreme heat from Europe is due here over the next two days, with the possibility of a record-breaking 40 Celsius by Tuesday. The NHS has contingency... In a quarter of a mile, at Cranford Parkway Interchange, take the second exit onto the M4 slip road to Heathrow Airport, M25. Minister in the next hour, the mother will be knocked out of the race tomorrow. The toddler's being remembered as an affectionate and caring little ray of sunshine after he died on a farm in Greater Manchester. Three-year-old Albie Speakman was hit by a tractor yesterday. Tomorrow's weather, blue skies, sunshine, but becoming exceptionally hot across much of England and Wales. Very warm across Northern Ireland and Scotland, hot in parts of the east, with highs of 39 Celsius. This is LBC. Dell's Black Friday in July sale is here, with savings on top laptops and desktops for business. Plus, save on monitors, accessories and servers, all with free delivery. Dell Technologies recommends Windows 11 Pro for business. Upgrade today by calling 0800 085 4878.
The Marsh taught me how to survive. Where the Crawdads Sing is a global phenomenon. Now on the big screen. She killed him. Someone destroyed evidence. Starring Daisy Edgar Jones in the most thrilling mystery of the summer. People fear wild things. Where the Crawdads Sing, exclusively in cinemas July 22. Our dad trusts cerebral palsy. Erwin Mitchell got her the help she needed. They gave us hope for Haley's future. That was the human touch that mattered. Our legal and financial experts understand the impact of a serious injury. We'll help you receive the best possible support, medical care, and rehabilitation. We really get to know you, so you can get the most out of life. Erwin Mitchell, the expert hand with the human touch. Find out more at erwinmitchell.com. Also as regulated by the Solicitor's Regulation Authority. Exit the roundabout onto the slip road. In a quarter of a mile, merge onto M4. That means you. Oh. And paper records ain't gonna cut it this time. You have to keep digital records using software like QuickBooks. But don't worry, we've made it easier than ever. Yeah. Make tax digital with QuickBooks. When I pick up picnic food from co-op, I'm not just buying quiche Lorraine and mozzarella and pesto pinwheels. I'm also raising funds for local projects like community fridges, a space where local people just like me can get together, share food, and learn new skills. Buying co-op food raises funds that lift up your community. Co-op, it's what we do. Subject to availability, participate in store seeds, store for full picnic range, 2p for every one pound spent by co-op members on selected co-op products, goes to communities, TSEs apply, visit co-op.co.uk forward slash membership. Camilla Tomlin on LBC, call 0345 6060 973. Welcome back, it's 6.33. We're continuing our conversation about whether the police are becoming too responsible for mental health issues. Um, at Bedfordshire Police, they're having to deal with, um, last year, 10,000 calls on mental health alone. 03456060973 is the number to call. Now, Lucy's in Dartford. Um, Lucy, I believe you were a police officer, but actually um, dealing with mental health cases made you want to leave the force. serious mental health issues that 
are probably better off being handled by people with psychiatric training and the police don't have that training it's very difficult um, let's just have a very brief segue for just a moment to talk about the Duchess of Cornwall who has turned 75 lots of tributes to her in the paper let's just bring in Margaret Holder who's a long-standing um, veteran royal correspondent Margaret thanks for joining me um, now one of the leaders in the um, newspapers this morning headlined a selfless Duchess basically singing Camilla's praises I mean do you agree with that do you think that she's done oh Margaret what do you I think what we're getting is a massive PR campaign, huge spinning in her favour. And look, the public can't avoid her. Every paper, she's there. Uh, put the, turn the TV on, she's there. Well, All she's 75 and she's a future queen, according to our own queen, who said that she must be known as queen consort, yes. not princess. Yes, I think this was something cooked up with a Christmas turkey. Uh, you remember Charles and Camilla had Christmas lunch with the Queen, and very soon after that it was announced that Camilla would be come a lady of the uh, she would get the garter. Yes. And Tony Blair would also get the garter. Remember Tony Blair and his human rights act yes. that, that gave permission for their wedding because it flew in the face of all previous advice to, all, to, to royals about civil ceremonies. Okay. And then we learn in the Queen's Accession uh, address that uh, she wanted Camilla accepted as Queen Consort. But I think the best we can hope for is a, a grudging acceptance of Camilla. I think too many people know the old story. I know, um, but isn't that water under the bridge? I mean, she's been married to Prince Charles now for 17 years. Hasn't she, <laughs> hasn't she earned the title? In a quarter of a mile, keep right to stay on M4. Keep right to stay on M4. Continue on M4 for four miles. Junction 6, take the A355 exit to Slough Central. Yes. When people are in crisis, they either call the police or they call the crisis team. Everyone just says, call an ambulance. Yes. Um, the issue is, is legally, um, we're, mental health is very complicated and we can't do a lot. Mm. Um, so. Because of the lack of power that a paramedic has, do you mean? There's this, we keep yeah, on hearing yeah. the police are brought in because they can use the Section 136, they yeah. have the power, but maybe other agencies should have the power and spread the oh, load a bit. Um, 100%. I mean, it's difficult. 
difficult. I mean, over the years, I mean, I've been doing it for 11 years, and in that time, I've seen mental health just increase, but the services just decline hugely. Yes. Um, and no one can turn to anybody. Um, we, you know, we don't get a lot of training in mental health. We don't have that. We, as your colleague, uh, um, the police officer earlier on said that, you know, the, the only thing he has is the CS gas or his voice. Mm -hmm. Us as paramedics, the only mm -hmm. thing we have is our voice. So when we get called to instance, we can only turn and talk. And we try our best and we want to help where we can. But even, you know, as professionals, we try and do what we can to try and people with, you know, the services that they have. Um, and even that is like most of the time putting their head against a brick wall. Um, it's, it's, it's such a difficult thing. We, as the police, I see them for hours and hours and hours on end, you know, mm. sitting there waiting with patients. Yes. And the same with us. What's um, needed then, Luke? Do we need some intermediary service that doesn't... In half a mile, at Junction 6, take the A355 exit to Slough Central. ...mental health services erode over recent years. Can you give me some examples? Like, there used to be a couple of um, people that would do X and now they're not even there, or how has it happened? Well, it, I think there's a lot of lacking in mental health. So when people struggle with their... their, their Exit at Junction 6. Teams. Yeah. Um, and I mean, some of them are very, very difficult to get hold of. Um, you know, so there's, there's a very huge lack... Of in a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, so take the third exit onto Tuns Lane A355. Whether it's a GP, a pharmacist, a mental health team, yes. etc. But after, not, after 5 o'clock, you're on your own, and it's down to the emergency services, i.e. police and ambulance, to basically pick up the beaters. And um, that's when and people are going to be having these episodes. I mean, more, aren't they, at night, I would imagine? Late at night, early in the morning? Yeah, it's, it's very frequent, because, I mean, obviously, people are isolated, they're struggling, and then when they eventually get to a point where they need some help, the phone lines are shut, mm. and there's not a huge help. I mean, a lot of ambulances and a lot of services, emergency services now, are investing in joint responses, so they're actually having a police and a paramedic on a car together, uh, or a mental health specialist, or all three of you, where it would be a mental health Is that nurse. a good idea? It works. I mean, yeah. it does work when it's available. Yes. Um, so where I work, they do have the, that. So they have a police officer, a paramedic, and a nurse on, on a response car. Mm. And then if there's a mental health incident, they will respond um, to try and help that, you know, to make things quicker. A um, listener called Helen has just texted in to say... I exit the roundabout onto Tons Lane. feasibly would an emergency service devoted to mental health be? Um... It's, it's not a bad idea. What do you think of that, Luke? It's, it's not. It's one in a quarter of a mile, slight left towards Sippenham Lane. There's not enough people in the emergency services. That's, so, that's, so that's an amazing idea. Mm. Um, but then, as your colleague, or as the police officer said earlier on, um, there's nowhere to take them. You know, all the hospitals are built up. All the hospitals yeah. are full. There, there's, there's nowhere for any, any so, place so to go. So do we think it was a mistake to have... We understand why they did it. There was a kind of one flew over the cuckoo's nest element to some of these mental, mental institutions, which were kind of Victorian. Uh, my grandmother was in there. God rest her soul, she had to have electric shop therapy. So Slight left happened. towards Sippenham Lane. Um, but, but we know that they, they weren't the right facilities, but was it right to close them down? They should have been reinvented into... 100%. Sort of half... Continue for one and a half miles. Ward ...and the prison cell, surely. Uh. 100%. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, there is there is facilities. There is some hospitals now that, you know, that, that are yeah. still out like there, but they're very far and few between. Yeah. Um, and most of the time now, it's just a ward with a couple of doors, with maybe a secure door, um, and then maybe one or two members of staff, which is not the support that anyone needs when they're having a time of crisis. Yeah. Um, and because they're so... The, the bed space is so small, um, some of the hospitals... Um, when you have like so a 136 patient, we need a 10 day E, um, that will sometimes lock up an ambulance for a period of time. Yeah. Also a period of time because, because the patients are volatile, you don't want to be bringing no. them into a yeah, yeah, there must be the, um, very time-consuming cases. I only have to leave it there, Luke, just because of the time. Thank you very much for sharing your wisdom with us, and thank you for your work as a paramedic. Um, something's missing here, isn't there? This is sort of, we, we're identifying a, a gap in the services that are provided that needs to be filled. I, I quite like Helen's idea. An emergency service devoted to mental health. I mean, that seems to be a common theme running through all of the frontline work that's being carried out in the UK right now, be it the police, be it paramedics, be it people working at A&E. 
people in overnight with being accompanied by police officers, social services. There could be something in this. What ideas have you got to solve this? Are the police taking on too much when it comes to having to handle people's mental health issues? 0345 6060 973. It's 647 and you're listening to Camilla Tomini on LBC. Coming up at 7 on LBC, Natasha Devon. The Tory leadership race is the most racially diverse ever seen, but is that a win if their policies reinforce inequality? Natasha Devon on LBC. At Pets in a Pickle, we keep things simple, so you can get a quicker quote at our best price, which is why you won't find us on price comparison sites. Go to petsinapickle.co.uk. Welcome to everyone's favorite game show, The Motorway Way, where car dealers compete to give you the best price for your car. Gary, are you ready to sell? I am now. Thousands of car dealers are waiting to bid. 11,000 pounds. 11,500 pounds. You've sold your car. And I got more money than expected. No way. Yes way, and your car gets collected from home for free. Motorway, the way to sell your car. Sell your car at motorway.co.uk. 56% of customers received a higher sale price than the agreed reserve price. Starting route to summer holiday. Continue straight after Are We There Yet? Exit for all BP Who's Hungry? Continue towards tempting treats, seriously tasty sandwiches, and a much needed latte. And that next left break into that snacks. Merge left for the toilet break Jack said he didn't need. Whatever this summer brings, pick up amazing quality, great value food and drink from your nearest BP store. You have arrived. BP, here for all of life's journeys. How much has your business changed over the past year? Perhaps you need more flexibility and are thinking it's time to change accountants. Whether you want to spend more or less, go bigger or maybe smaller, what you should do is choose the accountants best suited to your company. In which case, arrange a free consultation with Barnes Rofe. We know that every client has different needs because we spend the time to get to know them personally. Contact us at barnesrofe.com. Barnes Rofe, clever accountants for business. I knight you, Sir William Wenzel of Buckinghamshire. Ow! Brilliant. Who's next? Not me. Or me. I don't think I want to be knighted anymore. Who's next? Okay, as it's you, sire. Need glasses, but don't want them to cost an arm and a leg. Get a complete pair for just 19 pounds at Specsavers. Book an eye test online. You know you should. Include standard single vision lenses only. Ask in store for details. Today's 199 wrap of the day is the sweet chili chicken one. Guaranteed to cause flavor envy. Picture a soft tortilla wrap filled with... Ooh, delicious crispy or grilled chicken. Um, sweet chili sauce too. I'm sold. Today's 199 sweet chili chicken one. So big on flavor, everyone will want some. Only at McDonald's. <laughs> From 11 a.m. Camilla Tomini on LBC. Text 84850. 650. We're talking about the police having to deal with mental health issues. Uh, Mac is getting angry with us again. There are great models for dealing with mental health.